I'm going to try some experiments tonight and I want to share them with you. I uh, was at Ulta and I found this white face matte foundation. I have no idea why I wanted it, but I know I did. So I got it. So I'm going to try it out. What I'm going to do is end up putting the white base on one half of my face and the other half is just going to have regular foundation. I'm going to, in either case, put on my e.l.f. Luminous Matte Makeup Primer. Not because I want the makeup to stay all night long, but because um, it makes it go on smoother. So we're going to do that thing. I've got a couple other little things I'll show you along the way too. It's going to be fun. The first thing I get to do is take off the makeup I'm wearing all day long. Because let's start with a clean palette. While I'm at I'm also going to show off some of my Fab Fit Fun stuff that I got that I didn't have a chance to trial, but I had the box opening with my dog. So this is a makeup eraser. Um, the short side is supposed to clean off your makeup, and the second side is supposed to exfoliate. They're both equally soft, and I could just curl up with them. But just a little dab of water. The idea of using this makeup eraser is to save the landfills from a third of our waste, which happens to be makeup wipes. Now, I don't use makeup wipes, except sometimes when I'm doing a video. Otherwise, I actually just wash my face with products I get from various sources. And um, the thing about this, though, is that you still have to wash your face after you use it, which I think is kind of dumb because I'm using this to remove stuff. Anyway, that's my humble opinion. So it's kind of pointless to me. But anyway, I remove my makeup. Not bad. I still have some eyebrows left. So, <clears throat> another thing I got on FabFitFun is this goat's milk face lotion. Yeah, it does smell a little bit like goat's milk. What a surprise. It's a very light moisturizer. I'm probably going to enjoy it more in the summer. While we're waiting for my face to dry, whole glass of wine. And now, this is the primer. This actually does help my face and makeup to stay on all day, even though I place my hands over my face constantly. I don't know why, but I do. It's sealed. Proof. I've never tried it. Hey, I got it undone in one go. <laughs> Little things. Hey, I'm gonna swipe with that much. My, what dark circles you have under your eyes. Could probably get smoother coverage if I used a brush. I should I'd never done this before. Why be picky? How handy to have this with me. Clean myself up. Now the big reason for this experiment is to see if this white base helps my makeup to pop. It's also going to be nice to see the effect because my cosplays are not individual enough. The costumes are one thing, I look the same, my hair changes. So I really want to change my face to make myself unrecognizable. Some of my older pictures, people say they had no idea it was me. Well, that's sitting. I can do this side. And then like the last time I tried to do something different on each side, I'm actually going to um, put the exact same colors on both sides. And this is not how I put my makeup on normally, but it is for this. Fun. And we dim the lights on the camera a little bit so you can see the differences. Oh, what foundation am I using? Benefits. Hello, happy. It's got a cute little smiley face. I'm very easily entertained. That's not why I bought it. For being white, it doesn't tend to show up very white. No. Well, it's not grease paint. I'm going to play with 
BH Cosmetics Summer in San Tropez. It has these beautiful bunches of colors that are very bright and awesome for summer. My Doe Color Brush. I like purple. I'm going to start somewhere. Now, once upon a time, I thought that windshield wipering was a good thing. It's even on one of my videos. Well, pretty much since the last time I made a makeup video, I have been practicing many other techniques, watching many other YouTube videos, and figured out a way that's actually working for my eyes. The side shuts pretty normally. The side likes to crease a whole lot right in there. Plus, the mature eyes come down a bit more on this. So it is a work of art to actually make them match up as best I can. I guess I should show you that. That was that color. And that's the difference on that already. Yes, it does pop with the white underneath. Another cool toy I got from FabFitFun is something called Color Switch. It saves me from having to wash my brushes as often. I've got this thing in here, and for this kind of a flat brush, I actually just wipe it back and forth, and it removes a lot of the makeup that's on it. I need something very dark, which is not on this palette, but I'm going to pick it anyways to add some depth to my eyes. I decide that blue works. Another thing that people do um, when they're creating depth in their eyes is they draw over here or they bring it over to their eyebrow and I don't care for that look. So I actually take the brush and dip it down. Because that way it gets down into my lid and into my crease to add the depth. This eye is not as deep as that, or I don't know, this eye is better set up. This one takes the work. All right, so at this point, we have this coverage coming up just a little bit, and this one coming up quite a bit to add the depth. Hi. Hi. Oh, wow, you're very liney. I'm very liney right now, but this is just the beginning because blending is part of it. I used this one, and then I used this beautiful dark blue, but up here. Let's go for Vila. Leave them for that, I'm putting it right over the ball of my eyelid to bring out the shine. So the color that I'm putting on here, I'm also putting underneath my brow. NARS under eye cover. Now that I'm putting on my wrist and I dab that on carefully with my finger. Why don't I use the beauty blender? Well, those are sponges and they tend to absorb. So if I need it to even out because I've got too much, then I use that. Otherwise, I just use my fingers. Now I can put on some eyeliner. Which these days is really eyeshadow. I have a couple of eyeliners. I look like an old lady trying to draw on this liquid eyeliner. It doesn't work. So roller lash by Benefit. Those <laughs> <laughs> the benefit of this is long lashes. Oh, that really shows up on my lower lashes. It's wonderful. I also recently learned, through trial and error over the past several months, that just put the mascara underneath the lash and not on top, which is what everybody's always told me to do. I never listened. <sighs> I didn't listen because I knew better. I have skimpy lashes. Well, when you're wearing a really nice mascara, it stays nice and moist and kind of leaves me a darker eyeshadow line <laughs> by the end of the day. And I haven't found a way to not make that happen. So 
So I figure I'll just follow everybody's directions instead. Eyebrow mascara. What is this? This is NYX. Yes, it's actually a mascara wand. My original thought had actually been to um, put the foundation on that side too over the white. But apparently I really want to see what just the white does. Because I totally forgot to do that and I'm getting ready to put on blush now. I have leg cramp and you can totally hear me shifting around uncomfortably. <laughs> and I just got it shorter. Look how we land on these. Hey Beline, fit me! put this just on the apple of my cheek. I'm going to move, bring it back a little bit further and up a little bit further. Remember, blending will be a thing. Makeup essentials. This is a bronzer. It's really cool. I'm going to replace it. Probably is. Probably should. But it works. It's not like I beat it or put it on my lips or in my eye. Oh, Something I'm not wearing, certainly for everyday makeup, but I can see using it to help change my face structure is highlighter. My face glows quite well enough on its own. Thank you very much. Brag, brag, brag. It has a natural shine to the cheekbones. But since we're playing all this, and when I cosplay, I do all this. Using my Morphe palette, I happen to have a nice, wonderfully deep brown eyeshadow. Create some depth to my neck, my throat. As in my late 50s, it kind of sucks. This is the good girl. It is a highlighter I got from Ipsy. You can see why I really don't need a monthly prescription subscription box. put some <clears throat> contour and it's a little bit on the intense side. On the camera it looks fine. Does it really? Yeah, you look cute. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah Taste that you. Turn each way. Maybe. Each way. Either way. Both. Yeah, white side looks really nice. Yeah? Yeah. I'm well, good because I'm doing Victorian stuff. I shouldn't have such a tan. I'm not on all my costumes. You're a pale ass ginger. Whatever accuse you of having a tan. Drink. This is my don't kill my producer. Drink. <laughs> I will not kill my producer. I'm going to play with this a little bit on my lips. Because I forgot to. Yes, I am going outside the lines. I'm over drying them a little bit because 
No, wait, wait I, I'm not going to do just one makeup experiment. I don't know why, but I'm fascinated with the look that I hate. But for cosplay, it could be a good thing. So, I happen to really like Palladio. Palladio? The planners. They're soft, they're cool. Symmetry is overrated. I don't know if I can use this, but that is what I'm trying to do. The brush for accuracy. I'm going to start off by adding some white for highlight here. Next shall be the brown, coffee addiction. I'm gonna put that inside. For my incredibly red shade. Really, this lipstick is so dry, I can hardly stand to actually put it on without a brush and lots of stuff on my lips. Well, practice shall make perfect. That's not bad. Are my cheekbones dramatic enough? I don't think so. Right, this is experimental. You can see going to a con with these lips. It is. I'd have to go back to my hotel room to redo them. Just getting clear from your pocket. Right. Where's my pad mule? I clearly will not be wearing my white blocks with this get up. I have said I'm not going for an everyday look, right? Yeah, I think so. for fun. And experimenting with looks. My pretty precious. I don't have a makeup on them. They're so pristine. So now that I look at my eyes, they're really nothing compared to the rest of my face. So let's just fix that up. I have the tools. I have the tools. <laughs> so back to San Tropez. I'm going to add some Super Yacht. And I'm actually going to use my fingers because all eyeshadow is that intensifies the color. I already added some of this here. L'Oreal to the very dead center. That's the bubble boom. The outside's here. Oh yeah. And another L'Oreal infallible. Wow. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I will have all these colors down in my description. This benefit browsing. So let's still put it in your eye with it. Right. Wash the brush every once in a while. I don't think the wax is any good anymore. My wax is all crusty too. It does help make everything darker. The tell with things with wax is that you need brow hairs to make them really work well. And guess who might be lacking in that department? So I'm trying a very nude shade to help uh, reduce my lines. My lines. Not that I mind my, my lash lines. 
And sometimes when I wear a really bright red wig, I look about 15 years older. And our ideas look 15 years younger. Well, I suppose on the one I can end up looking like the matron. Hmm. Still not getting the definition I want. Let's try the dreaded black. <laughs> oh God, do I have a dark gray? Good luck. Gray really? is going to ash in your skin tone. Black or like a dark brown or something. I've done the dark browns. I have too much red in them. Black then. All right. Let's be light-handed. Blend the living shit out of everything. Right. Three things. Yeah, we did finish our cheese. Good. That's doing it. Well, now that I've added some incredible using black under here and blending the daylights in. Remember, this is a lot for photography. Uh, and intensifying the eyeshadow. The lips I'm still going to work on with the shape. This is fun. So let me know what you think. Put in the comments below about the white side versus the dark side. Any advice you have on techniques? Like, subscribe. See you next time.